Ectea or Simicifuga racemosa, better known as black cohosh, is a part of the Ranunculaceae or buttercup family. In addition to its botanical name as well as its common English name of black cohosh, it is known the world around as rattleweed, black snake root, bugbane, rattle root, and rattle top. Those are just the English names. There are some German names that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. In preparation, rhizome and roots are commonly used in their fresh or dried form to make infusions, capsules, solid or liquid extracts. Spasms, achy pains, chilliness, fevers, nervous system irritation or excitement, depression of a deep, dark, brooding, withdrawn, heavy nature, incessant talking and neuralgias, headaches, typical of the late luteal phase due to low estrogen, most symptoms being worse in the morning, with the cold, during menses, or better with warmth and eating, especially thinking of traumas, car accidents, or incidences of child abuse, but the abuse not always being physical, but almost always having a mental or emotional component. These are all the things that we think of when we want to treat with black cohosh. Historically, black cohosh was used by Native Americans and Europeans for gynecological conditions prior to the arrival of Columbus. Native Americans employed its use for aching muscles, joints, neuralgias, rheumatoid arthritis, menstrual cramps, kidney ailments, malaria, sore throats, and snake bites. Ironically, some of the things that we think of when we see the mental picture of black cohosh today. Specific gynecological indications for use by Native Americans included disorders such as irritation and congestion of the uterus, vagina, and cervix. It was also used to promote uncomplicated births, uterine involution, and recovery. Much of the uses for black cohosh have not changed or deviated from its traditional uses, especially gynecologically. It is highly regarded for its use in dysmenorrhea as well as hot flashes that are associated with menopause. As of late, no pharmaceutical drug can surpass its abilities in treating these disorders, especially dysmenorrhea, because it is greatly utilized in irritative and congestive conditions of the uterus. Unfortunately, many women who are post or perimenopausal are finding great difficulty in trying to abate the symptoms that are associated with their menopause. Typically, hormone replacement therapy is the therapy of choice for women undergoing menopause. Black cohosh is greatly revered for its co-administration of hormone replacement therapy or in lieu of for those women where estrogen therapies may be contraindicated. It supports reduced doses of HRT or is utilized when withdrawal is tapered. It also serves to abate the climacteric symptoms of menopause such as hot flashes and sweating, as well as the anxiolytic effects of these women due to the menopause. Specifically, black cohosh suppresses the luteinizing hormone surge associated with hot flashes in these women. It shows a markedly reduced serum levels. As with any form of medicine, there are contraindications or possible side effects. While it is a generally safe herb, large doses are known to slow the heart rate, create hypotension, and bradycardia. It can cause hepatotoxicity in these large doses, which may warrant regular liver function monitoring but as mentioned, it is an otherwise generally safe herb.